Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Before I even start anything, we are embarking, Living Streams International, we are embarking on a 21 day fast. A fast that is seeking the face of God. And it's from the 18th of January to the 7th of February. We are embarking on a 21 day fast starting in the morning, 6 to 6 p.m. That's a day's fast, not an extended one. But here's the interesting thing. We are seeking the face of God and we have testimonies of what happened last year. Powerful testimonies. And I must be very honest with you, including angelic visitations. You may doubt it, but that's the truth of it. Because I don't, my lie, I, my lie is not going to promote, God doesn't need my lie to promote his power. But that's the truth of it. And there are powerful testimonies of what God did in the lives of people. As we're reading the testimonies last year, some of it was amazing and outstanding. 21 days fasting from the 18th to the 7th. Make a date with us. And every evening we meet at the Life Cathedral, the Zoe Chapel, behind the Trade Fair, behind Zenith College. We meet there and we seek the face of God from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the evening. Just praying and seeking the face of God. Speaking to God about the issues that we face, the challenges that we face, and then prophesying into the future about things that we want God to, to do and things that we want to see calling the things that be not as though they were. And God brings us testimonies, amazing, amazing testimonies. Listen, I am an example of an amazing testimony. Our, even the church itself, our cathedral, um, the, the Zoe Chapel got burnt last year in the midst of the COVID where things were very, very difficult. And by the grace of God, where help came from, you have no idea. Help came from quarters that you never thought were capable. And right now, we have a, a chapel that is much more glorious and much more amazing than what the fire destroyed. Testimonies upon testimonies. Join us in this fast for 21 days, seeking the face of God. Bring your issues. Come, bring your prayer topics. We'll pray with you. We'll stand with you in prayer and we'll pray with you. But we are not going to pray with you without you praying. We want you also to join in the prayer. Because, hey, monkey not a work for baboon to chop. No, we're all praying. We're the people who know their God, not other people's God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. So join us for 21 days, 18th of January to the 7th of February, and 7 p.m. to 8 uh, p.m., Mondays to Friday. And on Sunday, we cap it up with a powerful prayer time uh, in church service for our two services. But this morning, I like to capture my thoughts and call it bone walkie talkies. In Ezekiel chapter 37, there's a powerful story over there. And the story that God whisked Ezekiel away with or without his will, without his consent, to a valley of dry bones. And then God asks Ezekiel a pertinent question. We dealt with it the other time. Can these bones live? And then Ezekiel said, I don't know. Now, God has taken Ezekiel to a very uh, a challenging situation, a very, I mean, impossible situation. And then God said to Ezekiel, you know, can these bones live? And Ezekiel said, I don't know, you know. Then you know what God said that was very startling to me? God said to Ezekiel, God spoke to Ezekiel and said, Ezekiel, prophesy to the bones. You speak to the bones. So Ezekiel is standing there and saying, Goodness me, I'm supposed to speak to the bones. I'm supposed to talk to the bones. And God said to him, you, talk to the bones. That was interesting. And then Ezekiel opened his mouth and spoke to the bones and prophesied to the bones. Boom! The bones came alive. The bones started attaching themselves to each other. Bone upon bone, sinews upon sinews. And boy, it was at the word of Ezekiel. The prophetic declaration of Ezekiel. The prophetic declaration of the mind of God of Ezekiel concerning those bones, those dry bones, brought life. Ezekiel had power in his mouth to transmit life, to communicate life through God's 
uh, walkie talkie of power. God's walkie talkie of power, Ezekiel communicated it, and the bones began to respond. You know, sometimes God leaves the speaking in your arena, in your corner, in your court. It's your prerogative. And God sometimes says, now you listen, instead of praying to me, asking God to do something, rise up and speak to the situation. The disciples were crying out to Jesus, carry us not that, that we perish. And Jesus got up and spoke to the wind and the, and, and the waves, spoke to the tempest. Sometimes God needs you, your power of faith, your, your, your stance of faith, look at the situation and prophesy to the dry bones. You can do it. You can speak to situations. You can speak to the mountains and say, who are you, O mountain, before Zerubbabel? It didn't say, who are you, O mountain, before God? It say, who are you, O mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt become a plain. Speak into the situation. And that's why we, we're preparing ourselves with a fast. You get it? And do the, the we'll be making declarations into situations. And it works. The Bible says, the word is even nigh thee, even in thy mouth. See, our, the Bible says, uh, uh, death and life are in the power of the tongue. So we can speak death to situations that we disagree with, a situation that should not be, and we can speak life to situations that is and the Bible says, calling the things that be not as though they were, and so they shall be. How I'm excited about this year. Yes, I know. I know the challenges are there. I know the the uh, the danger, the threat of the pandemic is not there. And I hear it has, the, the virus has even mut is mutating to avoid extermination. But guess what? I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the possibilities. I'm excited about the divine enlightenment that God wants to bring to my life and to the life of his people. This is my year of divine enlightenment. And boy, I'm going to speak. I'm going to prophesy. I know what it is to speak to some situation, to call the things that be not as though they were. Speak life into dead situations. Speak life into situations that people have given up hope on. Speak life into things that people have said is impossible. Or oh, they've looked at me and they've told me, Pastor, this is impossible. Some of them have said, you know, Reverend Marque, this one, it cannot be done. I know people who've told me, you ain't going to make it. Your voice will never be heard. Here we are. Speak life. Speak life. Speak life. You can speak into the situation. Pick up the, 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 this thing, the language of God's uh, 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 word of faith. Pick up that language. Speak into the walkie-talkie. You need to make some proclamation. Build up your faith by prayer. And after prayer, lift yourself to the place where, uh, of faith and begin to make those declarations. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. See you later.